Missiles are common ballistic weapons in the R-Type missions, adding auto-firing missiles to the ship's offense. This entry also refers to ordnance that acts more like bombs. These weapons are fire and forget in that they cannot be controlled by the pilot once launched. They are primarily for offense, though some of them, particularly the homing variety, can also act as a point defense against incoming enemies and projectiles. Once missiles are acquired, they have infamous ammo. Most aircraft have a small number of missile options that they can be deployed with, typically between two and three, but variants do exist. Once deployed, the missile type cannot be changed, so careful thought regarding which missile best complements the ship's force, wave cannon, and bit devices must be considered. A homing missile is a missile that homes in on its targets. Two homing missiles can be fired at once, and the high rate of fire and accuracy make it a popular choice among aircraft pilots. The homing missile is deployed by a large variety of fighters in a wide range of situations, and when launched, the homing missiles seek out the nearest target. The homing missile is available to a large plethora of ships. It's the default missile of the R-9A series, the R-9AF, the R-9AD series, the R-9C, the R-9K, the R-90 series, the R-9AX series, the R-9LEO series, the R-9W series, the R-9E series, the TX-T, the OF series, the TP-1, and the B-5B. The Enhanced Homing Missile is a homing missile that can pierce lightly armored targets. This Enhanced Homing Missile is a strong missile weapon that packs a powerful punch. However, its travel speed is noticeably slower than the standard homing missile. The Enhanced Homing Missile is mainly available to the POW Armor Series and is the default missile of the TP-2, the TP-2H, the B-5C, and the R-9 USO 800. The four-way homing missile fires homing missiles in four directions at once. It's a strong missile weapon with a good defensive value. Now collecting the first missile power-up grants two homing missiles, while the next power-up increases that to four homing missiles. These homing missiles are launched from the front of the craft when the force is detached and are launched from the rear when the force is attached. Its travel speed is slower than the standard homing missile. The four-way homing missile is the default missile of the TL series up to the TL-2A2 and is used by the Chiron, the Iacin, the Asclepios, the Achilles, and the Nitolimos. Six-way homing missiles launches homing missiles in six directions at once. However, it is slightly less accurate than the four-way homing missile. Collecting one missile power-up will grant four homing missiles, and the next power-up will increase it to six homing missiles. The homing missiles are launched from the front when the force is detached, and are launched from the rear when the force is attached. Just keep in mind that its travel speed is slower than the standard homing missile. The six-way homing missile is the default missile of the TL-2B series and is used by the Heracles and the Hylus crafts. The eyeball homing missiles were developed to be compatible with the Bido-derived fighters. The functions are nearly identical to that of the homing missile, but differ in appearance in that they are shaped like eyeballs. The eyeball homing missiles are missiles that home in on its targets. Two homing missiles can be fired at once, and when launched, the homing missiles seek out the nearest target. The eyeball homing missiles are typically only used by the B series crafts. However, the Golden Selection, the Platinum Heart, and the Diamond Wedding are the only Bido series fighters that can't use the eyeball homing missile. 
In addition, it's not the default missile, the BX-2, the B-3B series, and the B-3C series. Also of note here, these eyeball homing missiles are also encountered as enemies in our Type Final 2, not just as weapons of use. The scatter bomb is also known as the spread bomb and is classified as a missile in the game. When fired, it is dropped slightly forward of the craft in a parabolic way, and upon impact, the bomb spreads forward, damaging whatever it touches. When dropped forward, it scatters on impact, releasing the volatile energy stored within. The scatter bomb is a very effective weapon in rough terrain with hills, valleys, or crevices, and when obtaining the second power-up, level 2 increases the number of scattered energy blasts utilized. It's the default missile that Adromalus, the Albatross, the Platonic Love, and the Diamond Wedding. It's also available on a large number of other ships. The anti-ground missile is a missile that travels along the ground when released, impacting only when contacting an enemy or a surface it cannot fly over. Upon reaching the ground after launch, these missiles cruise along the ground until hitting an object. The anti-ground missiles are very useful in areas with land, but the fire rate is somewhat slow because only up to two anti-ground missiles can exist on the screen. It's the default missile of the R-9DV series, the R-9DP series, the R-9ER series, the R-11 series, and the TW-2 along with the TW-3B. The Photon Missile is a large and powerful missile that when fired, it drops below the craft, then launches and speeds forward on its own after falling a short height with a minor homing ability. In our type Final 2, the Photon Missile's size is not as large as in previous games, but the second power-up will increase both its size and its radius. The Photon Missile is used by several ships, including the Peacemaker, Tropical Angel, No Chaser, Cross the Rubicon, and Chitta, and the Cerebrus. The Photon Missile is also used by the Hades, Karen, Golden Selection, Diamond Wedding, and the April Fools. The Vertical Missile Depth Bomb launches missiles upward while the fighter is in the air, and launches bombs when the fighter is moving over land. It is a very effective weapon, but few fighters can use it. When implemented, this combo launches three homing missiles at level 1 and five homing missiles at level 2 upward when in the air, and a standard depth bomb when over land. The missile bomb combo is only used by the TP-3 Mr. Healy, unless the player is using a customizable craft. The Depth Bomb, which is more of a bomb than a missile, is a bomb that's dropped straight down. The ease of target enables multiple release bomb attacks against ground targets, and the release rate increases with a power-up, where level 2 increases both the fire rate and the blast radius. The Depth Bomb is the default missile of the R-9S, the R-9SK series, the R-9D-DH series, the TW-1, the TP-2S, the TP-2M, the B-3B series, and the B-3C series. The Balmung prototype is the prototype version of the Balmung. This is a prototype missile developed with the goal of being the strongest ever created. 
The prototype creates a red explosion, and will still explode even if it reaches the end of the screen without hitting anything, and a level 2 power-up will increase the blast radius of it. The Balmung prototype is used exclusively by bomber-type aircrafts like the R-9B Strider. The Balmung is the most powerful missile in the Space Corps arsenal, as a tactical nuclear weapon when launched from the R-9B Strider. A Balmung nuclear strike can deal heavy damage to nearly any target, and it is quite capable of completely destroying weak squads of enemies. This is a missile with overwhelming destructive power compared to that of other mountable weapons, and this is the final model that creates a blue explosion as opposed to the red explosion in the prototype version. As with the prototype, the ball mung will still explode even if it reaches the end of the screen without hitting anything, and a level 2 power-up will increase the blast radius of it. This final model of the ball mung is available to the R-9B2 Stayer and the R-9B3 Sleipnir. The Eyeball Depth Bomb is a drop bomb for Bido Craft, which allows for a faster drop rate than a conventional depth bomb on contact with the enemy. The Eyeball Depth Bomb is dropped straight down, and the ease of targeting enables multiple release bomb attacks against ground targets. The release rate will increase with a power up, where level 2 increases both the fire rate and the blast radius. These Eyeball Depth Bombs are exclusive to the Bido Crafts. However, you can use them on the customizable aircrafts as well. The Eyeball Scatter Bomb is a cluster bomb developed for Bido Craft. It scatters on landing, releasing destructive energy. When fired, it is dropped slightly forward of the craft in a parabolic way, and upon impact, the bomb spreads forward, damaging whatever it touches. And these eyeball scatter bombs are very effective in rough terrain with hills, valleys, or crevices. The eyeball scatter bombs are exclusive to the Bido crafts, however, you can use them on customizable R type crafts as well. The torpedo is a missile for submarine-style craft. These torpedoes are ranged missile-like armaments that are launched from submersibles. These are typically used in air-to-water or water-to-water -water combat and can be found on the TP-2M2 Sea Tiger. The anti-air missile is a homing missile created for battling enemies with superior altitude, meaning if enemies are above you, these anti-air missiles can help assist in taking care of them and clearing the area above you if needed. They are quite effective against smaller enemies. Just be aware that when choosing this missile type, they are only going to go upwards. They do not fire below your craft, just above it. The Eyeball Vertical Missile launches missiles upwards while the fighter is in the air, and launches bombs when the fighter is moving over land. It is a very effective weapon, but few fighters can use it. When implemented, this combo launches three homing missiles at level 1, and will launch five homing missiles at level 2 upward when in the air, and a standard depth bomb when over the land. These Eyeball Vertical Missiles are exclusive to the Bido Crafts. 
However, you can use them in the customizable R-type crafts as well. Thank you for viewing. If you enjoyed this video and found it useful, please like and subscribe to this channel. Again, thank you.